Let's be honest, we've all heard the same spiel from our parents. Mm, turn down that music, Herp Derp, or you'll go deaf! And you probably respond with the classic, yeah, yeah, whatever, Mom. Ugh. But what if we told you that your mom is right? Yes, as horrifying as the thought may be, it's true. In fact, not only can listening to loud music cause you to lose hearing over time, a loud enough sound could rupture your eardrum right now. In this video, you'll find out how bad going out to a nightclub can be for your ears, what kind of sounds are capable of bursting your eardrum instantly, and how you can tell if your eardrum is ruptured and more. You listening? Alrighty then, let's get to it. At its core, sound is just energy that travels in waves. We use the decibel scale to measure the amount of energy within a particular sound. Since they're a measure of energy, the decibel scale doesn't measure loudness so much as it does intensity. Also, the scale is logarithmic, so a 100 decibel noise isn't 10 times as intense as a 10 decibel noise. It's actually a billion times more powerful. So, a whisper, for example, clocks in at 30 decibels, whereas a normal conversation is double that, 60 decibels. Experiencing a noise that's over 70, like that of a jackhammer or a motorbike for an extended period period of time can potentially damage your hearing for the long term. A noise of 150 decibels or higher say bye-bye to your eardrums altogether. Fortunately, it's difficult to stumble across something that is capable of generating a noise of that magnitude. For the average person, the loudest noise you'll typically encounter in your day-to-day -day life is a lawnmower and a chainsaw and stuff like that, and those only go up to 120 decibels. To get to 150 decibels means you're doing something highly unusual, like standing next to a jet engine during takeoff or setting off firecrackers next to your ear. Well, doing something menial like listening to loud music isn't liable to explode your eardrums on the spot. It can be incredibly bad for your hearing. You know that classic trope about nightclubs, how the music is so loud you can't even talk to the person right beside you? Well, the average nightclub plays music at around 100 decibels, a level at which hearing loss can occur after just 15 minutes. And if you think listening to music at home is safer, well, it's not. The devices you use to listen to music, like your phone, computer, or tablet can likely go even higher. If you're someone who's always jamming out to music full blast in your headphones, chances are it's playing at up to 110 decibels, which means hearing loss is possible within as little as five minutes, which is uh, pretty bad news considering most forms of hearing loss aren't reversible. But say you make the unfortunate mistake of standing next to a space shuttle during takeoff and your eardrum completely ruptures. What can you expect? Well, your typical symptoms are about as bad as you can imagine. Imagine a severe earache, loss of hearing, mucus draining out of your ears, or all other indicators that something has gone horribly wrong inside of your ear canal. If any of these things are followed up by a buzzing or ringing sound, dizziness, nausea, or a loss of balance, you may want to go see a doctor like yesterday. An easy but not foolproof way to check if your eardrum is ruptured is to plug your nose and slightly exhale through it. If your eardrums are fine, you should feel some pressure in your ear canal. If your eardrum is ruptured, however, you might hear a slight whistling noise as the wind passes through the new hole. Gross. Luckily for us, unlike general hearing loss, a ruptured eardrum can heal itself. Sure, it'll take around one to three months and you'll be afraid to do things like sneeze or yawn in the meantime, but take care of it and it should end up making a full recovery. You'll need to be careful though, since a ruptured drum is more prone to things like infections. Speaking of lovely infections, loud noises aren't the only way people often burst their eardrums. If you're someone who suffers from severe or repeat ear infections, you need to keep an eye, or rather an ear, out too. The resulting buildup of fluid behind your eardrum can lead to an increase in pressure, which can eventually cause your eardrum to tear. Ouch. In fact, anything that messes with the pressure levels in your head can cause your eardrum to burst. Changes in air or water pressure from flying and scuba diving respectively have been known to lead to eardrum ruptures in the past. Oh, and as for the most unsurprising cause of burst eardrums? Yeah, you guessed it. People sticking things in their ears. That's right, from pencils to Q-tips to bobby pins, people seem to just love sticking things in their ear canal that do not belong there. Although, in their defense,
offense, few things in life feel better than scraping out a bunch of earwax with a Q-tip. Mm-mm-mm, sign me up. Up until now, we've spent a lot of time telling you about the negatives of bursting your eardrum, but what if I were to tell you there are some people who rupture their own eardrums due to the benefits? That's right, the Bajau people, an ethnic subset of the Malay people who live largely at sea, are avid divers. Unfortunately, that pesky underwater diving pressure I mentioned earlier can really make it difficult to go too deep without specialized equipment. To combat this, some Bajau purposefully rupture their own eardrums at an early age in order to avoid pressure buildup in their heads, thereby making diving easier. Naturally, the Bajau who commit to this trend have hearing problems when they get older, but hey, it's all worth it for that fresh seafood, right? Well, maybe. Ultimately, it takes a lot of noise or an unusual set of circumstances to rupture an eardrum, but it's far from impossible. Fortunately, even if it does happen, you'll be able to make a relatively quick recovery. The real danger lies in the gradual hearing loss that comes from blasting your iPod while working out. So, do us a favor listen to your mom, and turn that thing down. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe below, then head over to the Brainiac YouTube channel for more eerie videos.